The second way to use Arduino at home is to use the Arduino Create Web Editor, uh, but it does require a plugin. So I'm going to show that real quick. Uh, again, on this Canvas page, the second example, go to create.arduino.cc. It uh, will ask you to log in if you haven't already. You can see because my icon's up here that I have already logged in. Uh, you can just use your Google login with your school account. I'm going to click on Arduino Web Editor. And here you will uh, be able to write code, uh, copy and paste. There's some great examples that you can work from. Uh, and you can plug in your Arduino board and program and download right in here. What we do need is a plugin. So I uninstalled it so that you can see what it looks like to install it. You get this big yellow banner right across the top that says no plugin connection. Oh no. So if I hit help, uh, it says, do you see the plugin icon in your system tray? I don't because I don't have it installed. So instead, um, you can install the plugin right down here, kind of midway down the box. So it is going to download this plugin when I hit start. When I hit download. <laughs> And you can see that it just downloaded a plugin right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, and here is the install screen for the plugin. Go ahead and read this terms and conditions bonus points for you. I'm not going to read it for you though. I'm going to go ahead and accept the agreement. Hit next. I'm going to let it uh, install under my username because that's what the default is. Do you intend to use it with something other than Google Chrome or Firefox? No, I don't because I use Google Chrome. And it's going to go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm going to say finish. And now if I um, am back at the web editor, do back to our Arduino web editor. This time, this time it sees that I have a board plugged in. The board that I was using for my um, example. So it can see that there is a board on COM3. Uh, it is a Arduino Uno, which is basically this guy. Uh, well, no, that's a 101. Let's see, do we have an Uno in this list? There it is, Arduino Uno. That's what I've actually got. Okay, and now when I have uh, this guy ready, I can hit verify just like I usually would and upload will send it to my board.